And I was selling popcorn. popcorn right? So all this pride up and down, a whole graduate. One day I remember I had pasted because I had started a company. CEO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, in your Instagram bio. <laughs> CEO, whatever title. But I was customer service. Uh, everything was me. So I, people were not buying our product. So then we do... Uh, 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 photocopy, mm. buy book SMS, mm. 75 cobo. Mm. So I paste that poster, I used to say song water from song water. Omo ya podcast bi, ewo podcast no me ya lata phone ya sa podcast. Na omo podcast no mo invite a lot of businessmen ni a soft phone ni ko fumi bread basu mo mechiro majune movie actors ni adi adi. Na we no mo invite businessman ba ko abet na ho a wudin komo. Na according to yepa pe insemo a okane very important. Eh ono eh chere say. Eh, so pe so die e wa abra bumu a ana so ko animu abra bumu a ahobra sie so important ene de menim so nim de make kan sa ahobra sie de etimi bibia ne ahobra sie e wi enkunim die ne mum no o kan sem bi e wo video nim a eno na atwe ma adwene so no ba me fan to abontin me nuanom e ye youth ye wo gan ne ni abrochi de ye nyina e ka ho bi de ma sue afri mu no me nko am mfa nsim botum me de beto ho ne ye nyina ti nsem a wo kan ya se so ni o kan no eno kure wo ana se entro I carry him back. We enter private jet. You will you know carry anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
right? Mm. My the people we pay millions to in our construction industry, Thailand. Yeah, and they are coming from Togo. Togo. Because most yes. Nigerians don't even know how to do it. And then you carry degree on your head. Right? Carpentry work. Right? Iron metal work. There's so many sectors that young people can take up. You do one six months apprentice with your brain. You will now do business plan. Yes. Right? On top. So you put structure. And before you know you've built, that business can be a multi-million dollar business in a space of five years. But you may need to lower yourself, humble yourself and pick up a, I mean, the biggest lack we have in this country are skilled jobs. Skilled job, yeah. Right? No, skilled jobs. You know, painter. The guy cannot even speak English, but when you check how much you pay the guy, millions, then you want to put suits, you know, tie, you know, hello, how are you? We're speaking grammar. Right. Grammy Meanwhile, jig. the ones who can't speak grammar are making all the money. And you say Nigeria is not working. Right? Of course, we have to hold government accountable. Of course, I mean, I was part of NSAS and, I, and people were wondering that you're doing well. Why did you join NSAS? You know, well, I think they now know why. When they saw that maybe Aliko will join this oh. <laughs> NSAS, <laughs> we have this protest. Because people think because you're doing good business, you are not feeling the impact. Of what's going on in this country. We're all endangered species mm. in the hands of these wicked politicians that we have in this country. But for me, it's also that the solution is not just in the hands of the politicians. No country in the world has evolved through the hands of politicians. None. None. Mm. Not even China. None. It's business. Not even communist China. None. Mm. Right? It's, uh, look at America. There's a movie called The Men Who Beat America. And I, and I, I wrote about that and I, I was glad that Ted Ola also re-emphasized that too. John D. Rockefeller. Yeah. Right? Mm. Build the entire, all you know as petroleum industry today. Mm. People still don't know that it was kerosene first. Before petrol. John D. Rockefeller literally invented, move people from using kerosene as source of light to petrol. John D. Rockefeller, one man. Uh, Andrew Carnegie, the rail sector, yeah. the man owned more than 80% of the rail line in the whole of America. One man, America, that people just cho cho cho, America, America is developed. <laughs> um, uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan was a one man that was so powerful, the, he bails out industries. In fact, one recession during, I think, uh, D. Roosevelt. They had to beg him to bail out. In fact, it was after that, that one said, how can I be president? And one man is more powerful. I'm begging him to bail out a sector. That's when they now start what we call Central Bank, oh. the Reserve Bank. Because he, he was so pissed off that it was one man that literally had the resources to bail out an industry. And we can go on and on. What Nigeria needs is young people to rise up hmm. to the demands of this hour. Build great industries. And then later on, politicians will now come to say, ah, how come only Aliko owns all the petro petroleum? I mean, he's the only one producing petrol. And that's why for people were wondering, why did I support Aliko with the refinery? At this point, we can't talk monopoly. It's after we are getting enough fuel, we stop pumping all the dollars to import fuel, right? Years later, we now see that he's the only one producing fuel for Nigeria. You know, House can now pass a resolution to say, how do we get younger people to come into the petroleum industry? So that it's not just Aliko alone. Mm. But every country has been built by one great businessman. He takes over the industry. Then later you divide. Like John D. Rockefeller, they divided his company into five. Do you want to hear the name? Tell me. Tell Exxon me, Mobil. sir. Exxon Mobil. Shell. Chevron. Wow. Even when they divide into five, those are the names of what they divided. Big names. Yes. Because huh. wow. of Monopoly. Social media today, is Mark Zuckerberg not doing Monopoly? <laughs> one man owns WhatsApp. One man Instagram. owns Instagram. One man Facebook. owns Facebook. One man Snapchat, owns Tread. So. Yes. One man. Right? One man. But you will see now, over time, they can divide the country, the, the company. Same to Google. See how powerful Google is. AI, open AI. So we must understand how, you know, nations evolve. But I challenge young people who watch this show, Rise up. I mean, yes, not everybody can have my kind of story, but I promise you if I can make it starting from Nigeria, you can make it. Mm. Absolutely. You just will be relentless.